so pegasus is a spyware uh, it infiltrates your phone or any other device uh, using a vector the vector is what carries the spyware uh, inside the device so it could be whatsapp it could be via messaging it could be via mail a global collaborative investigative project has revealed that Israeli company NSO Group's Pegasus spyware targeted over 300 mobile phone numbers in India, including that of two serving ministers in the Narendra Modi government, three opposition leaders, one constitutional authority, several journalists and business persons, The Wire reported on Sunday. Pegasus is a software developed by an Israeli security company called NSO. Uh, NSO has done many things, but it's Pegasus that has sort of uh, been in the limelight for the past few years. So Pegasus is a spyware. Uh, it infiltrates your phone or any other device uh, using a vector. The vector is what carries the spyware uh, inside the device. So it could be WhatsApp, it could be via messaging, it could be via mail. Then it installs itself onto the device and uh, starts beaming out uh, your data or what you are doing, your activity, your internet uh, behavior, all of that to the attacker. Pegasus uh, has been used to target a lot of important people across the world. Now, NSO does not sell Pegasus or any of its product to anybody out there. It sells it only to uh, sovereign players or let's say a government or a government's institutions, which is also makes it more interesting. So it is a spyware uh, with the spy in quotes, which means it's a traditional spyware used by spies. But interestingly, what's happening is that there's a lot of internal spying also happening, which means governments are using it to keep a tab on its own citizens. Earlier, and Pegasus has been there for quite some time, we started noticing it around 2016 or 2017. It used to use this, uh, you know, spear phishing techniques, which means you get a link, you know, and I'm sure a lot of you have seen suspicious links on your email or in your message or WhatsApp, even instant messaging, like on a Facebook messenger, you would see a message which does not look right. And a lot of people won't click on it, but a lot of people do click on it and that is how it gets installed. But what has happened with this latest uh, you know, series of stories being done on Pegasus is that it's come to light that Pegasus does not need to do that anymore. It uses something called a zero click vulnerability, which means it can install itself onto a device without the user actually initiating an action or just making a mistake. So that is not needed, which means, let's say technically you get an email which has this, uh, this malware or the spyware in it, and you have a client on your phone like your Apple, um, Apple mail or any other mail client which downloads emails even before it scans it. Like as in the email has already been downloaded be be before it checks whether there's a problem with this. In those things, it already gets installed even before you can act on it. And in this case, it's even more worrying because the user does not know he's been attacked. Uh, there is no way to prevent it because you are not really doing anything to do it. So it gets very, very tricky right now. Interestingly, Amnesty Forensic Team, which is looking at this Pegasus uh, you know, data dump and like who's been attacked and all, they're saying that um, it actually gives you more control or the attacker gets more control on the phone than the user itself. Because in, on an iPhone, it goes into the, uh, into the root files, which means it can change anything. So it actually reads, it can see everything that you are doing on the phone without an exception. And uh, it can also then transmit this data to your attacker. So your attacker gets files, data logs, your contacts, your emails, all of that can be read by your attacker. So it's very difficult for the user to know he or she has been targeted. And you will see maybe that your phone is slowing up at times and all, but you wouldn't, you might not realize it's happening because of a spyware. Uh, because most of the phones, as they get older, do do tend to become slower and they do hang at times. So you don't think that it's something malicious happening. 
preventing this attack, especially if it's a zero click attack is very, very difficult. In the earlier case, which was a you know, spear phishing kind of a thing, it's very more, more traditional. And I think over time, at least people who have the kind of data that they need to protect have become very cautious about clicking uh, certain links or uh, installing um, apps that they don't trust. In the present situation where you really don't have to do anything on your own, the most you can do is to ensure that you are using the latest version of the operating system and of all the apps on your phone. So if in case this is a vulnerability that has already been um, identified by an Apple or a Google, then you have you might have a patch to prevent it. There is also uh, Amnesty saying that even in some phones which had the latest version of the operating system, uh, even they have been breached. Now, so you, which means you really can't prevent it. But one prevention or one caution you have to do uh, to take is to update your operating system whenever a new update comes in. And this applies for apps also. Just maybe keep them on an auto update kind of a mode. The other thing to do is you should not sideload any apps which are not supposed to be there on your phone or is not being delivered via your uh, operating system. So a lot of people, especially Android, tend to sideload apps that can be very risky. Uh, there is another way which an expert told me is to stop using the apps. So if you don't trust a certain kind of app, stop using it, use the same on browser. And you can do that with a lot of things. For instance, don't use the Facebook app, just use the browser. It is very inconvenient, but it can actually maybe help you a little bit.